Hello and welcome to this new version of YAG, that's version 0.16.2 and it's a regular content update with a few new gadget features. So let's start with the features. First, the Dungeon Master now has an option here to limit the maximum zoom distance for the players. This can be handy if you play in a narrow dungeon and you don't want the players to zoom too far away. Next, every pawn can now be equipped with a sort of thumbnail picture. So if you have a group of identical 3D models, which is the case here, you can differentiate them with that picture. The picture can be chosen in the pawn panel, which you can get by double-clicking the pawn, and it works the usual way in YAG. You have an address bar here, you fill it, press enter, and it's done. And finally, doors and chests can be opened and closed by using the left and right key, uh, rows on the keyboard. You can see the slider is moving as I press the right and left rows. Okay, And of course, you can, as always, uh, still use the slider. Okay, small but nice comfort little features. Let's move on with the content. We start with a collection <coughs> of cherry blossom trees. We have 20 of them on a tray. Um, I made, of course, a voxel forest out of them. I'm not going to show, but uh, it's very beautiful. Next, we've got an ancient Egyptian temple. Lots of prop. I made two trays out of element to build, in, uh, to build it. And, of course, there is a dungeon uh, made out of it, which I'm going to show you in an, inst in an instant. <coughs> Next, we've got a small collection of new mummies. You know, same body, but four different heads. And they come, which is kind of usual now in YAG, with both a creature and a human version. So you can have a uh, human, you know, uh, laser-equipped mummy riding a regular creature mummy. Next, we've got a poor peasant a young woman here, a lot of variation, colors variation, can be very useful. We've got two amazingly beautiful warrior women. That one comes with three variations and they are really nice looking. Next we've got a sort of, you know, dryad or a nymph, maybe a, any sort of magical forest girl. We've got two new demonesque or satanic creature, a moose and a bull, and they all come with uh, thick color variations, I think. Next, we've got a giant mosquito, one a regular one and three more sci-fi-ish uh, variations. Next, we've got a very nice uh, set of three iron <coughs> guardians or golems, and if you look more closely, they are not just statues, as you can see. So basically, there are, of course, uh, animated creatures, but I replaced the death animation with a statue mode animation, so to speak. OK, so very cool stuff. Next, we've got three nightmare creatures, a giant centipede that comes with four or five variations, and two, you know, your basic nightmare um, uh, a spider, vampire, centipede, horror, skeletal stuff, I mean, nightmare creatures, right? They, uh, both of them come with six color variations that we've got. Next, we've got a uh, <coughs> monster fish with two variations, with and without the, uh, the sail, how to call that. Next, this one is not a, a monster, it's an uh, actual creature, it's an animal. It's a dinosaur, a real one. It's called a Spinosaurus, and it lived during the Cretaceous. It was the apex predator of its time, and it's his real size, by the way, so you don't want to mess with that guy. Next, we've got a four-legged slug or a snail head. I don't know what, but if you need a sort of peaceful alien space herbivore, uh, this one has got you covered. This one is certainly not peaceful. It's a sort of, you know, alien, um, uh, aggressive plant flower. It could also, of course, be used as well in a Lovecraftian, as a Lovecraftian god. So very, very beautifully animated creatures. 
Next we've got a male android. We already had the female but I just put it uh, here again for reference but now we've got the male, uh, the female and the male. Next we've got a nice collection of funky colored aliens. We've got 24 of them so they're uh, cool. We also have a new tray full of um, uh, sci-fi lights. Okay, uh, lots of variations of that on, on that tray. <coughs> then we have a collection of doors, you know, modern doors, uh, sci-fi doors. They all can be opened and closed with the with the the keyboard or rows, and some of them has very cool animation, <coughs> as you can see. So very nice stuff. Next we've got a new tray full of liquid shaders, well <coughs> sorry, water shaders. Um, we have a few variations for blue water, a uh, few variations for green water, a swampy variation, three or four lava variations, so nice and cool stuff. And next we've, we've got a collection of stylized Asian city, sort of anime city. Um, they were all made by a friend of mine. She's a French RPG YouTuber. She's called Cécile and she made a wonderful job with those blocks. We've got uh, 10, I think 9 or 10 of them. Of course I made a city out of them which I'm going to show you in an instant. And we've got a full props uh, coming with that town. Uh, interestingly enough, we have a tram, and that asset here can be used with spline to create a tram, uh, a, a tram line. Okay, and we've got a tram station here. All right, so let's have a look with that new anime city here. <coughs> uh, oh yes, I made it by uh, night. So first of all, as you can see, the blocks are all. Uh, illuminated which can give some very nice ambient but of course to show them in their full glory I'm going to oops that's not this one it's this one to activate uh, full daylight again so you can see those blocks are absolutely beautiful you can play with a 3d here you've got you know tunnels and things like that so you can go in uh, both uh, you can play in both three in uh, three dimensions and you've got a lot of diversity here, you know, playground for children, uh, banks, well, basically a lot of variations, you know, with different floors and uh, things like that. So very, very beautiful and interesting to play city here. <coughs> and we're going to finish with the Egyptian temple here. <coughs> so again, uh, we start with the night version. Okay, so you can see that it's fully illuminated and absolutely beautiful. And of course I'm going to uh, again enlight the scene so we can see it here. Oh. Forgot to click here. Uh, okay, so I'm going to turn off the light here and maybe try to go full ray tracing because it's going to be more beautiful, I think. Yes, much better. Okay, so as you can see, <coughs> the temple is really nice looking. So if you want to play, you know, Tomb Raider or Indiana Jones or. <coughs> you can. All right. <coughs> that will end this video. Thanks very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. And if it's the case, as always, we meet again in the next video. Thanks very much. Bye.